Check, check, guys, we're back. How are you doing? Hope you're doing fantastic. Hope you're feeling fantastic. We're back with yet another live stream, weekly live stream. As you know, we do them each and every week. Why? Because community is key. Morales is all built on community. It's community driven. As a lot of our features, a lot of our really visions for the future, it comes straight from you, from, from live streams like this, from interactions like this. So this, by the way, one of my favorite things each week to do the live stream with you guys. So welcome everyone. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing fantastic. Hope everything is great. Hope the, the week is going good. It's Wednesday. We do this every Wednesday, by the way, at 6 p.m. Central European time. Now, as always, we will go through the weekly challenge. We're going to give away the uh, the NFT that uh, we announced last week. Let me just check which NFT give away today, which NFT for next week. Uh, please link. Okay, so, so soon we're gonna bring up the NFTs on the uh, on the screen. Which ones are gonna? Which one is going to be given away today to someone who built a Web three game in the Unity game engine? And uh, this is so fantastic because we tried for the first time to have a weekly challenge that is connected to our Metaverse SDK, which is the Unity game engine connection. And this is fantastic because <laughs> we have some funny ones to look at. Somebody did a very, very funny Spider-Man related game and uh, also some serious games, some half down games. We're going to go through them. Very good work. As you know, each and every week you get a challenge. You get a challenge on this live stream that you have to code during the week. And then we present the different, uh, the different applications on the, next, uh, on the next live stream next week. And sorry, guys, by the way, I'm a bit tired, so my brain, it cannot it really handle the, the stream. My, my brain is a bit, today, I'm a bit uh, uh, under the weather, but stay with me. I may forget English. Sometimes I forget English, even, when we do these live streams. So we're going to be doing the weekly challenge, giving away the NFT for last week. We're going to do next week's. We're going to announce what the next week's challenge is. We're going to discuss the tech improvements. We're going to be going to Q&A. We're going to be doing so many different things. And big, big shout out to everyone. So all in all, for next week, by the way. Oh, here it is. For next week, we're giving away Morales Melchior. I don't even know what it means. Maybe, uh, maybe Phil can tell me. What is Melchior? I've never heard it, by the way. Let me go like this. Let me go like this. There you go, Morales Melchior. Let's read. Youngest of the wise Morales mages. What the Morales Melchior lacks in experience, he makes up for in ambition and cleverness. And this is the thing. Experience is amazing, but you got to have the drive, the passion. It's like that in Web3. It's like that everywhere else. Experience, by the way, it's not that important because Web3 is new. Nobody has experience. <laughs> Look, the top experts in Web3 have one, two years experience because one, two years ago, we didn't have DeFi. We didn't have all of this lending, all of this yield. It wasn't a thing. That's the best, best thing about Web3 and building in Web3 that you can really become world class quite quickly. If you put your mind to it, you use Morales to build quickly. You can achieve great things pretty quickly. That's very important. Uh, he's one of the three wise Morales Majors, says Phil. Yeah, exactly. While lavishly adorned, the Melchior has not forgotten his humble beginning, standing as a champion of the common person. Fantastic, fantastic. So this one is for next week. And this week, we're giving away what? Phil, please link this week. Uh, which one we're giving away this week? To this? Oh, it's the Spider-Man. Exactly. <laughs> now I remember. It's the Spider-Man. Let me bring it up. It's the Morales... Uh, Morales, Miles Morales, exactly, where is he? There he is, there he is, fantastic, so this one is going to be given away today. Okay, great, now let's go to some, uh, to some uh, important announcements. Number one, we do have a new important job out, which is Unity Game Engine Content Creator. You go to talent.morales.io, talent.morales.io. You come to this page and then you're going to see we just published a new job. If you want to work with us on this YouTube channel, this is for you. Because as you know, we have maybe the most advanced Metaverse SDK in the Web3 space. And we're working a lot on that. David and our team is pushing updates each and every day. And uh, this week's challenge, by the way, was... Uh, was based on this SDK and you can do so much. I mean, it's an integration with Unity Game Engine. And so what we're looking for right now is someone who can join our team and create content, tutorials, walkthroughs on this YouTube channel with 
Morales Metaverse SDK. So what do you need to have? You need to have a lot of experience, of course, with Unity Game Engine. You need to have deep understanding of C Sharp. You need to know how to record videos so you have great sound and great video. And by the way, for a video, you don't need to record your face. That's not necessary, but the screen. So we don't want to teach that from scratch, although we could teach you, but if, if we have someone who knows it already, fantastic. And most importantly, you need to know Web3. But if you're watching this, you know Web3 already. So that's the newest job we have open. We have a few more jobs that we opened up during the last week. Uh, QA tester for the SDK team, QA tester for the API team. So if you are coming from a QA background, this is for you. We have a backend engineer for the admin panel. We have senior database administrator for our entire backend. I mean, it's a lot. We need several uh, senior uh, database administrators, but there are many different roles that are connected to this. So apply here. UX designer, dev I mean, developer, we have a lot. We have a lot. You know, we went from zero to 70 people in a few months and we're growing like crazy. We're growing like crazy. So the website is talent.morales.io. Talent.morales.io. As you can see right here, talent.morales.io. Go there and apply if you have what it takes. Now, that's number one. Number two, this week is shipping week. We have big updates. Namely, Morales Nitro is finally releasing. It should be either today or tomorrow. I mean, we're, we're testing the last things. And you know that Morales Nitro is now in beta for almost a month. And you can try it. If you go to beta.morales.io, you can try this, uh, uh, this new version of Morales, which is 10 times faster, 10 times uh, more... 10 times cheaper also because because it is 10 times faster by definition also it requires 10 times less resources for for exactly the same thing to process the exactly the same amount of events and so on and so forth so it's, it's, it's a completely whole new level and that's launching this week there are a few breaking changes you need to know about if you are building on morales and we've been discussing it already for weeks if you go to the forum and then you search morales nitro let me see if i can find it quickly uh, Morales Nitro beta testing. Yeah, you just go to the forum, you, you search Morales Nitro, forum.morales.io. And here you can see uh, how to test, what to test, uh, and you see also the, the changes here that, that are made. Uh, so for example, this, this, performance improvements. So there you go. This is important. And this is the breaking change, that the token balances and NFT owner stables are removed. Instead, you use Morales.Web3 API to get it. So we noticed, like I've been discussing many times, that most people don't even use that. And the problem is that it's one of the heaviest things in the server to all the time keep the balances and owners up to date. So instead, <clears throat> now it's your strategy. I mean, many devs don't even need that. And they're still, right now, they're still syncing all of that. So it's up to you. When you want to get this data, you just use morales.web3 API. Uh, in, in our SDK, you can e easily get it into your database depending on your use case. So we basically adapted the Morales back and the Morales system to be more granular for the different use cases because not all dApps need all transactions of their users, for example. Not all dApps need all the token balances of their users. In many cases, what we've seen is that people have a specific project, maybe you have your own token or your own project and you only care about the balances, the transactions that are connected to your project, not all balances of all coins. So we, by doing a lot of um, a user research, We've made these changes in Morales Nitro, and that's coming out this week. Now, guys, to the fun part. We do have a lot of uh, su submissions. I mean, way more than I thought. And um, I will show you those uh, that are for this week's uh, weekly challenge. And the weekly challenge, as you remember, was to create a game using Morales Web3 SDK in Unity and have something that has to do with Spider-Man, okay? <laughs> Some kind of game. And if you learn something during these challenges, if you if you become a bit better, that's the goal. I mean, at the end, of the, day, it's not, the goal is not to create a fully functional game, but <laughs> some of them are more, <laughs> more funny than others. Okay, I present to you this beauty. Who, who did submit this beauty? Let me check again. So I will go to Discord. And you know that we have our weekly challenge chat right here. So this one is from Agent007. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> I mean, technically, it is a game, I guess. <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess he learned something <laughs> during this week. Uh, yeah, man, look at those... <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I'm starting off with a, with a fun one. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> but look, 
I, I don't care. I'm happy as long as you learn something. Uh, it's fantastic. So that's our first contestant. It is Agent 007 creating the spy the run uh, game. <laughs> I don't know, you probably didn't have any Web3 connection, but uh, you gotta start somewhere. Now, the other uh, submission we have... Oh, Salt Mango, it's you? Okay, great, congrats. <laughs> the other one we had is a bit more serious, is a bit more actually, you know, actually it's a game, okay? <laughs> the other one is from who? Let me check. This is from E Non Mai. Okay, let's, ch let's check it out. This one. And yeah... Well, I know, let me know if there is some sound or something. There is some sound. Okay, wait, wait. One second. One second. L l let me change the sound source. So we... I have issues. Okay, okay. Let's see. Like this. Let's see if there's sound. You hear it? You hear it a bit. Okay, okay. You, you get the point. And for a week's work, this is good, especially if, if you learned it from scratch. And Unity, look, in a week, you could learn something like this from scratch. It's absolutely possible. And that's the best thing with the dev tools we have now. As long as you just try them, as long as you get into Unity, as long as you uh, get into the different game engines, or for that matter, different Web3 libraries like Morales, you can get quickly up to speed, you can learn so much, and you can get, uh, you can get going fast. Let's see, another one we have... Uh, ah, actually, yeah, yeah, it was a tutorial. It wasn't a submission. Okay, okay, it was a tutorial. Actually, there was a tutorial how to make Spider-Man uh, Spider 2D. Uh, let's see if we have some others. Yeah, I, th I think those two are the submissions for this week because I don't see more in the in the weekly challenge. And look, I mean, while this is one of the most fantastic things I've seen, I've seen in the world, I mean, this, also with the sound, I don't know if you can hear the sound, this is... Yeah, it just... <laughs> okay, I don't think we need to have a vote because, of course, the winner is en Enomai, who, who had a full end-to-end -end solution, end-to-end -end game. And, by the way, also, let's see, he had the repo. He had actually done a repo. Oh, I, 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 know, I know this guy. I, I recognize this, from, uh, this guy from, from our forums. Tantant, big welcome. Big welcome to... Let me zoom in. For some reason, my keyboard plus sign is not working, so I have to zoom in with the buttons. Okay, so he actually published the entire uh, the entire thing, and also it has a smart contract for rewarding. I see for minting. Let's see, minting stuff, and the whole uh, assets. What do we have here? Prefab, scripts, character controller, game manager. Yeah, so he published his whole game. So if you want to study how he made it, go here to B. Matthias Spider-Man. Be Matthias Spider-Man. You can just Google it. You'll find it in GitHub. So fantastic. Fantastic. All, all great submissions. But yeah, this, this week's winner is B. Matthias. Uh, so Phil, you can send it to B. Matthias if you find him in the Make the Spy Defy the Sinister. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can find him in Discord. And uh, let's send him the, the NFT. And the question is, what should we do for next week? Because this week we are giving away Miles Morales. It goes to B. Matthias for making a full functioning game. Basically like, uh, uh, like Mario, you can say. It can even outcompete Mario if you put some work into it. And next week we are giving away the Melchior. The question is, of course, what kind of challenge we should have for next week? Because we really want everyone to try... Build, <laughs> building something, <laughs> building something, being brave, taking the step, putting in maybe a few hours every day on a project where you can achieve a lot of things you can show off. So let me, by the way, know in, uh, let, let me know in the comment section if you have some ideas 
because sometimes it's we've had so many weeks already with different ideas it's, it's becoming a bit difficult for me alone to find the you know the next challenge but i do like i do like the unity direction uh, maybe we should have more unity stuff but this time maybe that it needs to be 3d that could be something and where it's more connected to the blockchain. Now, I, I did see that you had some rewards here. I, I don't know if it was deployed already in the game, but it would be nice to see more uh, blockchain stuff. Maybe you, you do something. Let's see what happens actually at the end. D do you get some reward or what happens? Ah, I see, you can mint stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Down, 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 down. I hope it's not copyrighted music. <laughs> okay, perfect. So here you could actually mint your reward. That's nice. Uh, speaking about the rewards, you know that right now in Discord, if you go here to call up Swing NFTs here, you can connect your wallet and then your NFTs will be visible in the chat. Let me see if I can. Yeah, like here, for example, Quadasau has Morales uh, ma ma Malevolent. Malevolent. Exactly. So you can connect your NFTs if you have any of the Morales NFTs. Now they can be visible in Discord. It's fantastic. So uh, this is for this week. Next week, let's, let's see what we get. Let's go to a bit of Q&A, guys. Maybe then we'll get some more inspiration exactly what next week is going to be. Also, guys, I will be on an, another live stream in 30 minutes. So I, I will have to jump in 30 minutes to another live stream. It is ETH Global. Hackathon, Polygon Hackathon, Road to Web3, ETH Global. Let me see, ETH Global. Uh, yeah, there, it's starting actually in 32 minutes. <laughs> I gotta be here soon. So uh, that's why it may be a bit shorter today than normal because I, I need to jump and preach at uh, that hackathon. And if you want me to see me preaching, uh, preaching Morales, you can just Google ETH Global Polygon uh, Morales, let me see if it actually shows up. Yeah, exactly, it shows up, yeah. ETH, ETH Polygon Morales, ETH Global Polygon Morales. I'll also link it here in the chat. Uh, and by the way, we're going to have a, a merge giveaway, as always, at the end of the stream. But let, let's go to, to some Q&A, some good old Q&A. I put up a build on GitHub that you can try, Bruno. Ah, Bruno Matthias, nice, 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 that's good, that's good. Um... I just woke up about to work out and watch this. Fantastic. That's good, Victor. You gotta have your Web3 knowledge. How about a Valentine? Oh, that's true. It's Valentine soon, but it's not next week. But yes, yes. Valentine could be something. I have a question related to Morales plugin. Does Vanish support testnet? I have... Uh, I don't think it supports... Maybe they do. You have to check with them because you need to have a capital, liquidity in the testnet. Uh, I'm not sure. If... Um, yeah... You'll need to check with them. I think they support Binance Chain. So if you want some cheap transactions, low cost transactions, just, just to try, use Binance Chain. I think they have Polygon as well. So if you want just to try, you can use you can use them. Definitely going to apply to Unity job. That's good. You, sh you should apply. If you know Unity Game Engine, guys, and you want, want to work with us, uh, apply. I mean, it would be fantastic. If you're watching the streams, if you know Unity, if you know how to use a mic, you know Web3, then this is for you. And as you can see, when you apply to this job, you have to do a few things. You have to record a short Unity tutorial, like just three to five minutes. So we know basically that you know how to record and, and you have an, a microphone. And yeah, I mean, you, you're not completely fresh to recording stuff. So you upload just a video, just three, five minutes where you show some hello world. And also if you have, link some games you've done because uh, we want to see that you know how to make them look nice. Because when we do a tutorial, an important thing about the tutorial is that people are amazed. You know, they see the end result, they're like, wow. And that's how we normally do it. When we start the tutorial, we show the end result in the beginning. We see, hey, if you watch this, you can you can create this amazing thing. And of course, it needs to look nice. And if you know Unity, I guess it's very easy for you to just pick nice models and nice particle effects so it, it looks appealing. But yeah, th th that's, um, that's why we have this. In case you have something, you can link us so we can check your games or something you've made. That's amazing. And that's it, basically. And then it's just personal info. And uh, maybe we need some... Yeah, let me add the resume also. I don't know why I didn't include it. I just did this job before we went live. And, uh, we... and while, you know, resume is not... Nice to see what, what has happened in the past. With the jobs, doing some HR work while live. That's fantastic. Uh, edit. 
application name email oh no but you have to submit cv i got it yeah it's it's already yeah perfect never mind i don't have to change anything just ordered a bottle that's good unity front run i've always wanted to work with you and philip totaling org that's fantastic if you know unity for example or look if you know anything of the uh, of the things that we've uh, advertised on our uh, talent.morales.io if you go to talent you, you see all of this i mean we need we need all of this if you have the talent try to apply let's see future digits okay guys i need ideas about the next challenge what should we have should be nice interesting challenge it should not be too difficult it should not be too easy it should be challenging that you learn something and for many people i think yeah maybe games is is still what's uh, what's challenging for for many people uh, or we could have something with morales nitro where you need to use the new features we have a few new features as you know events uh, events uh, oh by the way guys we also with morales nitro we are very close to allowing any npm module that's that's a big that's a very big thing and also with morales nitro we can open source big parts of our uh, backend that's that's a major thing that we haven't yet mentioned but it's, it's gonna happen soon as well how help uh, how morales help a beginner just coming out of college well depends on if you know programming if you know programming you can just go and watch this youtube channel we have a lot of uh, tutorials if you go to playlist you see web3 programming projects that's the best way to learn web3 because you get full walkthroughs from zero to full functioning projects and that's the best thing uh look here web3 programming projects I think if, even if you Google Web3 programming projects, you will find this. And uh, if you look at the, it's like it building NFC marketplace, games, uh, Web3 social network. But how about a 3D tic-tac-toe with your NFTs? Damn, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. But David, so we basically, now with our SDK, we can easily load the image into the game, right? Like put it as texture. That's a good challenge. That's a good challenge. I hope it's not too difficult, but I guess it's easy with our API. You load the NFT. That's very easy. It's one of code. You get all your NFTs. Then you can get the URL of your image. One line of code. Easy. Done. And then you just need to create like a ball or something and map the texture on it. Uh... I guess it should be super easy, right? Uh, if it's easy, David, we, we can do it. I think it's a nice one. And uh, ah, that that's nice. That's nice. Basically, you connect your wallet. You select which NFT you want to be X, which you want to be O, and then it's tic tac toe. You play. Yeah, let's do that. Fantastic. Okay, so let me explain the the, the challenge. It should be easy, uh, but it's also nice to to test it, test it out. And uh, if it's too difficult, if we don't get any submissions, we can just extend it for a week. I guess I have more time. Uh, let's see. But it would be nice to... If I don't know programming... is it? Oh, if you don't know programming, you should learn programming. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a bit too difficult if you don't know programming. But is it difficult to learn? It's not difficult to start. Uh, Unity does not work well with GIFs. The SDK does have a GIF loader, but it's not fully integrated. Okay, okay. So, uh, but many many NFTs are not gifts. So, all in all, let's. Here is the game. So you come to the game. You select your NFTs. So you have like all your NFTs here somehow. NFTs. Bam. You select which NFT you want to use. For the player one. So player one NFT. So let's say you have like a bored ape. You click on it, and so player one is now bored ape. And let me let me draw. So player one is now the bored ape. If they have this teeth or something, right? Okay, so player one is bored ape, and then player two, he's, he or she selects another NFT in your wallet. So you have you connect one wallet, and this wallet has many NFTs, and then you have to select. Okay, player one is the ape. Okay, player two is cool cat or crypto kitty or something. Okay. So bam bam, that's. That's uh, character selection, basically. This is character selection. This is character selection. Um, n next. Bam, 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 bam. Character selection, this is, this is page one. 
and page two is the game. So the game is very simple. It's tic-tac-toe. Player one puts bam, 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 the ape. Player two puts the kitty. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. It sounds simple, but it will be complex, I can tell you. <laughs> it sounds simple, but uh, it also does not sound that simple when I when I draw it up. <laughs> because, uh, why? Well, because it all depends, like, which, if it's SVG, I see people in the chat discussing David and Bruno, if it's, yeah, maybe it's too difficult. Let's see, Let, let's have this and see if we get any submissions. So basically, tic-tac-toe with NFTs. And it's up to you, by the way. Uh, you, if you want to have some something else than this, uh, free, feel free. But it needs to be tic-tac-toe with NFTs. Do whatever you want, basically. Okay? Maybe, maybe you have some, some idea of better better ways of using, using NFTs. But this was my idea. But you can do what you want. But okay. So weekly challenge for next week. Whoever wins next week gets Morales Melchior. And let's do this 3D now. So let's do this in 3D. You have to use 3D. Not 2D, but 3D. Let's see. Weekly challenge. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Weekly challenge. 3D tic-tac-toe with NFTs. Uh, post video link and GitHub as answer to this post bow, bow, bow. perfect there you go very nice and big congrats to econ my for winning this ones fantastic very nice very nice there are six possible z run horses oh yeah i mean we could do something with the horse exactly you have your horse but then you need to have that horse projects but let's have the tic-tac-toe this time and maybe next time we can do something with some horse or some other. But then you need to have those horses. And uh, are they expensive? Let's check. Open C. The Z. Z. Horse. Z run, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. People trading these JPEGs for. <laughs> ah, but they're cheap. Yeah, I mean, you, you can buy one of them. Like three bucks or something. And this, this one's. But some of them, let's see, buy now. Which buy now? Yeah, I mean, this is how many dollars should this be? like one? This is one thirty bucks. Okay, thirty bucks. It's still thirty bucks. Like a nice dinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. They, they see the scam with nine two nines. Should be just one here. Um, yeah, floor price here. We don't need to use them next time. We can use some some more budget <laughs> budget horse. <laughs> Perfect, guys. Look, I I need to go soon to the hackathon. Let's take a few questions if if you have them. Uh, let's just get the logic done. Exactly, you gotta have the logic done. Ape versus kitty. Oh, by the way, guys, another important thing. We should get going la different languages in our uh, in our uh, at, uh, discord right here um, so let me know which language you speak maybe you can write write in general here w which language you speak and which one once you think we should um, have like a like a separate group maybe Spanish or Russian or something it would be nice but we need some Someone who is active there, uh, who can, uh, yeah, who can kind of break the ice, so to speak. <laughs> so, by the way, if you are, if you are some kind of big language speaker, okay, uh, let let us know in general chat, and you want to, and you want to be active in the community, because we're thinking how we should expand the Morales family to also non-English. Uh, that would be amazing. I mean, if we can do these live streams. Uh, each and every week, but there is an English live stream, and then there is a Russian live stream, and then there is Arabic, and then there is Hindi, and then there is Filipino, and then there is Chinese, and then there is Brazilian, and then there is... Which more? Yeah, I mean, basically ever, everything else. That, that, that is por Portuguese. Portuguese. There is no Brazilian, of course. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's see. Floor is like... Yeah, exactly. 
I'm a bit late. So Tijan, which language you speak? You, you, you're, you're, you're from, uh, you, but you were in the EU, but I'm not sure uh, what's your mother tongue, so to speak. L let us know which one. Maybe you can take the lead on your native language. But you do have all the, all the Espanol, Marcos, Alexander. Oh, that's good. That's good. We need that. Yeah, l let's set up some Spanish. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very important because the problem, I think, in crypto in general is that it's all English. And, you know, most people don't speak English in the world. So it's uh, a very big opportunity for this whole community, this whole Web3 world to expand. At the end of the day, if we can't expand beyond English, it's not global. And um, although many people can speak English even in other countries. Oh, Tijan, so you're, for some reason, I thought you are Indian. But it's because you have your Indian turban as uh, your picture. <laughs> so yeah, Slovenian and Croatian. That's good, that's good. The Balkans, the Balkans. But Croatian and Bosnian, is it similar? Slo Slovene, is it similar to the Bosnian and Croatian? Should we have like a Balkan group or should we divide? Because I know you, uh, that there are many languages you don't have to divide. Like, if you are from Belarus or Ukraine or Russia, you can be in the same group. Uh, or if you know, like, some other ones, uh, yeah, you can probably be in this. Or should we have granular? Should we have exactly, no, you know this, then this is your language. Let's see how we do it. So somehow we need to do it. For example, if you are from the Middle East, probably it's enough with just Arabic and... Yeah. Or which which more? Sorry guys, I don't want to sound ignorant here. I, I'm 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 uh, drawing with like broad brushes here. <laughs> uh, so you guys, let me know in general which which one you, you want. The Balkan, Krasimir, you Krasimir, you should organize the Balkans for us. Exactly. Exactly. But see, the problem with many groups is that it's gonna be split up. This look here is why I don't want to have too many small groups because it's gonna be like too many chats to speak in. So if we can. Uh, condense similar languages into one group, fantastic. Because it's all about communication. Can we communicate more in dense? Uh, is, is better, I think. Because otherwise we're going to have... How, how many languages are there in the world? Like 200 or something. We're going to have 200 groups and it's better if we have like 60 groups for, for groups of languages. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I'm off to the Polygon uh, live stream. If you go to the weekly challenge group in our Discord, Krashimir will drop a discount, a discount code for the 10 first people that use it. So you got to be in the weekly challenge channel in our, in our uh, Discord. And I don't know. Let me bring it up. There you go, there you go, there you go. Ah, wait, we have a, we have a new contestant. Is this Spider-Man? I don't hear anything. Where is your game? It's ah, <laughs> damn. <laughs> nice. So you have some kind of... Yeah, it's almost Spider-Man. Uh, Thanks for submission. Thanks for submission. Fantastic. Unfortunately, the competition is already over. But yeah, I mean, this this we have some enemies run around. That's fantastic. And for next week, we go 3D. What I really 